Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve matrix stabilization. Question B from Code Forces around 954, Division 3. So you're given a matrix of size n by m, and the rows are from 1 to n, and columns are 1 to m, and the intersection point is the i thrown jth column is aij, so that's basically normal coding. So you won't have to like worry about like swapping columns and rows or something. And consider the algorithm for stabilizing matrix A. So you find the cell IJ such that its value is strictly greater than the values of all its neighboring cells. And if there is no such cell, terminate the algorithm. If there are multiple such cells, choose the cell with the smallest value of I. And if there are still multiple cells, choose the cell with the smallest J. So that's just like a normal search with for loops, nested for loops. And then you can set a of i, j to a of i, j minus one, and then you go back to step one. And then in this problem, a, a, b, and c, d are considered neighbors if they share a common side, which means that their Manhattan distance is equal to one. And your task is to output the matrix A after the stabilization algorithm has been executed. And this algorithm cannot run for an infinite number of iterations. So if we take a look at this example, 3, 1, then this 3, it's adjacent to this 1, but it's greater than the 1. So you have to subtract it to make it 2, 1, and then 1, 1. And then there's n and then you terminate because there, it, there's, no, there's no point that's greater than all of the other points. And then if we look at this uh, third set, one, two, three, four, this four is greater than all of its adjacent neighbors. So you have to subtract it to make it three. And then it's no, th three is not greater than three. So then you, and then there, it's not the case for any of the others. So then you just terminate it. And then if we look at this one, so <clears throat> even though 10 is like greater than the others, we need to see for like the smallest i and the smallest j, which means that we do the seven first, which means that it, we would make it six, five, four. And then now the next one would be 10, 10, nine, eight. And now if you notice uh, any patterns now, like you'll notice that for it, for this seven, right? You bring it all the way down to the four, which is the maximum of its adjacent neighbors. This 10, you bring it down to its to the eight. So you, you can't go one by one, otherwise it'll get time limit exceeded. And the, and the way to do it is you just go in order and then uh, you, you go in order of like the for loop from zero to n minus one, zero to m minus one. You get the maximum of all of the neighbors and be careful of like out of bounds boundaries. That's what these if statements are for. And then you update the current one. If if the ma if the maximum neighbor is less than the current one, then you have to change. Then you have to change the current one. And then you just print out the matrix. And now, some people like me who got hacked originally. There, the reasoning is because the. Like you, you probably then. You, then you probably just did a wild truth. Like you keep, like you keep doing it. Like it's, you basically just do what this says, like find it. And then instead of like doing AIJ equals AIJ minus one, you update it to the minimum or to the maximum next to it. You update it to the maximum next to it or, or the current. And then you update it to the maximum next to it, and then you keep trying to see if there is more. And that, even though the test cases aren't good, like the, this uh, author didn't make good enough test cases that it did pass, but then pe people can hack it. So that's, that, that'll explain why you, you get hacked. And yeah, so there's these matrices with the correct numbers, and you can see that I did everything correct because there's no errors anywhere. So yeah, that's how you solve matrix stabilization, question B from Code Forces around 954, Division 3.
So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.